everyone! Welcome back to Orangeville Public Library's Virtual Storytime. My name is Miss Shannon. Today in Storytime, we are going to be commemorating Remembrance Day. So Remembrance Day happens every year on November 11th, and it's why you're seeing uh, lots of people in the community wear poppies. And the poppies are to symbolize our remembrance for our soldiers so that we never forget them and that we always think about them. So our, who are our Canadian soldiers? Our Canadian soldiers are people that go off to support Canada. So they might go on missions all over the world where they go and help other people. Uh, they also go on missions to help the environment and sometimes they're involved in the scary things that are wars where people get hurt or where it's very dangerous. So our Canadian soldiers have a very important job but it's also a very scary job and it takes a lot of courage to be a Canadian soldier. So there have been wars in our past where a lot of our Canadian soldiers have died um, and right up until including the Afghan war we lost Canadian soldiers. And even still, on some of the missions that they go on, they can be quite dangerous. So even if it's not a war, sometimes our Canadian soldiers die in training accidents or uh, when they're trying to help other people in other countries. So that's why we have Remembrance Day every year to ensure we never forget them. And there are two uh, special parks in Orangeville to commemorate our Canadian soldiers. So we have the Cenotaph, which is located behind Town Hall. And that's where you might go with your family on Remembrance Day to commemorate Remembrance Day and, and have a moment of silence to remember all of the Canadian soldiers. This year, um, due to COVID, that Remembrance Day service is invite only, but it will be live streamed. So you'll be able to catch that online. And then we have a second park in Orangeville that just opened on September 3rd, and that's called Bravery Park. And Bravery Park is to create awareness of all of our currently serving soldiers and our veterans, and all of those who might have been injured in the line of duty, or who are suffering with um, a lot of pain and sadness because of what they experienced when they went overseas or to different parts of the world uh, to help people. So you can go and visit both of those parks in honor of Remembrance Day. And at the library, you can pick up your craft kit where you can pick up, uh, where you can make your very own poppy that you can hold on Remembrance Day or just display it in your house uh, so that you can ensure that you're thinking of our Canadian soldiers, not just on Remembrance Day, but all year. Because all year long, our Canadian soldiers are stationed all over the world on different missions, helping people and helping Canada. So we are going to get started with a story, and this is called Proud as a Peacock and Brave as a Lion. And this is by Jane Barclay, who is a Canadian author, and it's illustrated by Renee Benoit. Benoit. And this is published by Tundra Books. My papa was a soldier. When he was 17 years old, he lied about his age so he could join the army and fight for our country in the war. I'm on his bed studying a picture of him in his uniform. His hair is too short and his pants are too long. Papa, I ask him, why did you lie about your age? Well, he says, so many other boys were joining and I didn't want to be left behind. I couldn't wait to put on that uniform and as soon as I did, I felt as proud as a peacock. Proud as a peacock, I ask. Proud as that, he answers. He struts across, struts across the floor with his chest puffed out and his belly pulled in. He stops in front of the mirror and combs his hair and pats some shaving lotion on his cheeks. He smiles at his reflection. But beneath my papa's smile, I see the serious young man in the photograph. So there's his papa now. And then in the mirror is what his papa used to look like when he was a young man and went off to war. My papa crossed the ocean. The war was far away and he went on a long journey to get there. He said goodbye to his mom and dad and his sweetheart Betty. He promised to write them letters every week. Every week. It would be so hard to leave your family, wouldn't it? And still our Canadian soldiers leave their families all the time to go on different missions. Papa, I ask him, weren't you lonely? Sometimes I was, he says, but so was everybody else. Besides, my best friend Stuart was with me. There was always something to see or do on the ship, and most of the time we were as busy as beavers. Busy as beavers, I ask. Busy as that, he answers. He whistles through his teeth as he irons his collar. 
He tucks in his shirt tails and rubs the polishing cloth across his shoes until they shine like new. He reaches in the drawer for a pair of socks and a glimpse of a bundle of letters tied with a faded ribbon. He smiles as he touches it with his fingers, but beneath my papa's smile, I know he's missing Grandma Betty. So those are the letters that he wrote to his wife when he was off at war and didn't get to see her for a long time. My papa was a hero. There were guns and fire and smoke. He crawled in his belly through the noise and the mud and pulled three men to safety. The army gave him a special medal that he keeps in a leather case. Papa, I ask him, weren't you scared? When I was a lad, he says, I thought I wasn't afraid of anything. Then, when something frightening did happen, I pretended to be as brave as a lion. Brave as a lion? I ask. Brave as that, he answers. I help him fasten his medal above the pocket of his blazer. Sometimes my papa's hand shakes, so he needs to borrow mine. He smiles as he gives me a poppy to pin on my jacket. He looks very proud, but beneath my papa's smile, I hear the bad dream that woke him in the night. So often our Canadian soldiers, when they come back from the war, because they've seen some very horrible things, they have a hard time sleeping, they have nightmares. My papa marches in the parade. The crowd cheers and claps as the veterans go by. Some are young and some are old. Some sit in wheelchairs and some walk past holding on to others. I stand tall at attention. The music stops and there is a moment of silence. A cold wind sends dry leaves skittering past my feet. I am as quiet as a mouse, as quiet as that. My papa lays a wreath. He carefully places it at the base of the monument. Attached is a card that reads, in loving memory of Stuart David Abrams, or Adams, Stuart David Adams, 1923 to 1944. My papa salutes, then he steps back and dabs his eyes with his handkerchief. He puts his hand over his heart and I do the same. I can almost touch the ache. Papa, I whisper, why are you crying? I am remembering, he says, a war is something you never forget. Elephants never forget, I tell him. Then let's be elephants, he says. A soft rain falls as a bugler trumpets his notes up into the cold gray sky. We link our hands and bow our head. The end. So there's an elephant carrying a poppy to symbolize that we never forget. We never want to forget war because we never want it to happen again. And we also want to make sure that we're thinking about our Canadian soldiers all of the time. So we wear poppies on Remembrance Day to remember all of the soldiers who died. And we can visit places like the Sun Attack and Bravery Park at any time throughout the year to think about and talk about our Canadian soldiers. All right, everyone, well, thank you for joining me and thank you for wearing your poppies to remember all of those who died and fought in the wars. And I hope you'll join me for my next story time. Bye.